This is my hardcore Iron Man, which is limited to PvP worlds. If you kill this account, you will receive 200 mil. The main goal in this episode is to get my hands on 12 magic logs so I can complete Desert Treasure. And I have decided that Slayer is the way for me to get it. And that's task completed. I am going to attempt to do some Konar Slayer task. If I manage to get myself a Brimstone Ring, there's a 1 in 30 chance of getting myself 100 magic logs. Call fight in the call fight cave. Oh my god, first kill and we got the Brimstone Ring. Let's go. Good luck me, please. Gold or stand. Our next task, Worms in Karom Slayer Dungeon. I've actually never killed these. Oh my, oh my god, another disconnection. 84 range, there we go. 70 Slayer is such a special level because now we can kill Korask. There we go, we got our Brimstone Ring. We're gonna run straight to the Brimstone Chest, Iron Ore. Ah, oh, damn. We got another Brimstone Ring. Task completed. Right, please, please give us the magic logs. Bless you, bless you. Runite or no. There it is, the first brimstone key. And that's two brimstone keys. Here we go, two more brimstone keys. Let's go, please give us magic logs, please. Rune plate legs, that's very bad. Come on. Oh, well, diamonds are good. That's crafting experience. That's 83 hit points. 85 strength there we go task has been completed here we go another brimstone key going in snapdragon seeds nah we got a clue from uh, the jellies step one completed step two completed step three completed step four completed there we go we got the casket three two one another master clue scroll which i probably cannot do Right, that's the last jelly. We got two brimstone keys and a hard clue scroll, which we are going to do right now. All right, two more keys, two more brimstone keys. Let's go. Two plate, rune plate bodies. Ah, uh, dragon arrow tips. Oh my god. I just started my trip. Since I was scouted, I'm doing some agility for a bit. 50 agility requirement for lockpicks, 56 agility requirement for regicide quest. So I'll come back to you when I'm 50 agility. 50 agility. After getting myself 50 agility, I went to Martin Twight's store and bought myself 25 lockpicks. The thing about this, the treasure, you never know how many lockpicks you will be needing but I got 26 of them right now. So all I need now is 12 magic logs before I can complete Desert Treasure. And we are back to Slayer. We got three superior blood vaults, sadly no imbued hearts. And we also got two brimstone keys, which we are going to open right now. Runner seeds, that's a good, but not what I want, rubies. Seven to one Slayer. I got the one more brimstone key from the task. And we get two rune plate legs. Task completed, 90 points, not too bad. Oh my god. Another brimstone key. Magic logs, coals, okay. The grind is going to be over with this kill. 72 slayer, we can now kill skeleton wyverns and get ourselves magic logs. But just before we start the skeleton wyvern grind for the magic logs, we got one key and one chance for the magic logs. Redwood tree seed. And the loot from 13 brimstone chests comes to a value of 1.1 million. Oh my god. Dragon plate legs. That's an, a beautiful little upgrade. We got it boys. Here it is. We got the magic logs. Let's go. I kind of regret posting my most recent hard crime video because now everyone knows that I'm going for the desert treasure. All right, and that's the first part completed. Now it's the four scary and more riskier parts left. Okay, I don't care about my barrel's luck. If I'm lucky on this part, I can go forever dry. Yes, I got it. I got it. Only needed like 17 of them. Ooh. Oh, wow, there we go. We got all four diamonds. Oh my God, I did it. I did it, boys. Boys and girls, I did it. Ah, oh, desert treasure completed.
this changes everything. There are so many game changing things which comes with Desert Treasure, but one of them is the ability to teleport to Canopus. This will speed up my Barrows runs so much. Look at this gear, 110 magic defense bonus for Telbox, but if they do manage to get the Telbox, I just put on my tank gear, 336 range defense, 300 mule defense, and I'm set. This video's first Barrows run starts with an, uh, a dry. 242 kill count do we start on. Here we go. Yes. Hell fucking yes. It's an item for the dream list. Thank you, God. And that is 3 out of 10 items from the dream list completed. If you guys want to speculate on what I'm going to use all these items for in the comments, feel free to do so, but I'm not saying anything. Before we continue, there are plenty of you who are watching my videos and aren't subscribed yet, so if you are one of them, make sure to subscribe right now. I think we're killing a bot right here. Good fight, sir. We killed someone. We killed a bot. You got nothing. One of the most important things when it comes to completing the Inferno Believe it or not, it's fletching. And if I manage to get myself 63 fletching, I can make myself ruby tipped add the bolts, which will be a requirement to complete the inferno with a rune crossbow. Well, that's 58 fletching. 59 fletching, 60 fletching, 61 fletching. I kind of have to high alk all my high alkers just to be able to get myself the fletching level. There we go, we got 900k from the high alkers. We could have almost gotten 1 mil, but 900k, very nice. 62 fletching, 63 fletching, and there we go, we can now make ruby tipped adamant bolts. And from all my fletching, I managed to get myself 13k broad arrows and almost 10k broad bolts. Since I got so many broad bolts, I'm casually going to AFK here at Korask for seeds, money, and hopefully even the leaf bladed battle axe. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now we have ourselves Mystic Rope bottoms and Mystic Rope tops. Very nice. There it is. We got it, boys. Leafy. We got the leafy. That was a good trip to Chorus. We got 600 flags. That's crafting and fletching experience and 80 big bones. Prayer experience. So now we're gonna do some AFKing at Skeletal Wyverns. Well then, another Dragon Plate legs. There we go. 85 range. The best part about Skeletal Wyverns besides the fact that they can drop Draconic Visage, is that they drop Adamant Bolts. And with these, I can make Ruby Bolts for Inferno. And there we have it, we made 1 mil from killing Korask and Skeletal Wyverns, and also we got Ruby Bolts E for Inferno. Alright, I think it's time to do some quests. And there we go, Fremnik Iceless completed, 54 crafting, and we got ourselves the Hum of Nidus Nod. Great item for PKing in the future. When I go into the Inferno, I have to decide the shield slot. And there are two shields I'm looking at, the crystal shield and the dragon fire shield. And here we go, 51 prayer. 430k from that trip, not bad. All right, it is time to complete regicide. For me to be able to complete it, I need 56 agility. 51 agility, 52 agility. And there we go, 53 agility. Now we can actually boost up and complete the regicide quest. Uh, there we go, Regicide quest has been completed. And there are two big, very big benefits to this quest completion. The first one being the ability to fight Solra for the toxic blowpipe. And the second benefit being the ability to complete Roving Elves for the crystal shield. There we go, Roving Elves has been completed and we got ourselves a crystal shield. 750k for a completely new, fully charged shield. There we go, new crystal shield achieved. Thank you very much. A quick look at the stat difference from the Obby Shield to Crystal Shield, especially for range, plus 65 turns into 80. Sadly, I can't imbue this shield, so the stats will decrease over time. But yeah, this is a great, great new shield, which is very beautiful. Four very important quests have been completed in this episode, so let's finish this video off with some barrels. There we go, another item, probably a bad one, but a Derek's Helm, the luck is turning, I'm getting items. Very nice. If you have made it this far into the video, I am happy to announce that the bounty of killing my hardcore Iron Man has been increased to 250 mil. This will be the last barrel chest of the video. We are pretty much out of charges. 13 charges left. Hopefully, we'll end it on a good note. Final chest of the video. Nothing. 
I just want to thank each and every one of you who have been watching this video. If you did watch it till the end, make sure to give the video a like, it helps a lot. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you, see you, see you next week.